Hi, I'm Robert Morris, president of the Helen Keller Foundation, and this is Helen Keller. I'm also a co-author of the report in clinical ophthalmology in June 2020 on treatment of post-cataract endophthalmitis. All patients were treated at Retina Specialists of Alabama and the UAB Callahan Eye Hospital in Birmingham, Alabama, USA. If you perform cataract extraction and your day one 2020 patient presents on day two with only hand motion vision and obvious endophthalmitis, you want immediate and optimal treatment to restore your patient's vision. If you're a retina specialist, how would you like to restore 2040 vision in almost 80% of such patients instead of a little more than half? And worst case, if your patient has only light perception vision, how would you like to restore 2040 vision in 55% instead of 33%? We accomplished this by doing complete vitrectomy as soon as possible whenever the retina was obscured by pus and by intense post-operative treatment for two to three days until the eye stayed clear and the infection was definitively cured. Endophthalmitis retinopathy uncovered by vitrectomy causes most vision loss. Antibiotics alone are usually not enough to halt ongoing damage. A sterile, non-toxic vitreous cavity must be restored and maintained. Here we review 10 years of endophthalmitis treatment using such an approach made possible by small gauge vitrectomy technology. We believe that eyes with profound visual loss from fundus obscuring endophthalmitis are best treated by complete and early vitrectomy or sieve and that tap inject should be considered only for early cases with a preserved view to the fundus and count fingers or better presenting vision. Please contact us if you have further questions after reading this article. Be sure to view the important images and videos. My co-authors are Dr. Bernard Dibb, Retina Fellow at Retina Specialists of Alabama, Birmingham, Dr. Matthew Oltmans, Retina Specialist of Alabama Partner, Dr. Matthew Sapp, Retina Specialist of Alabama Partner, Dr. Jay Glover, Retina Consultants of Nashville, and Dr. Ferenc Kuhn, Milos Eye Hospital, Belgrade, Serbia, and Zagorskigo Eye Hospital, Krakow, Poland. Our very dedicated research staff are Christina Sullivan, Jessica Haynes, and Dwayne Kahn, all of Retina Specialists of Alabama, and Laura Beckwith, Helen Keller Foundation for Research and Education. Thank you.